The coffee cup? Oh, fucking Ida? Uh, but how the fuck do I do that? Ah, uh, then I need to send audio over, though. Uh, I mean, I could run mom running out and then just have that be captured. Uh, I think I'm gonna take and move this over to the other side. A little bit of warm up then at least. Then here is a flat whatever you think you will. Check, 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 one, two. Hello, 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 hello. Okay, and then it's just in there, okay. Then we open VC face. I get that connected to everything. Then I get a mouse. But yes, by bleak support and everything works. Now the only thing that uh, doesn't need to work is my audio. That's you know really. Though I'm I'm I fucking I'm doing fancy shit. I have connected my webcam to my laptop that is currently hosting VC face. I have an output coming out of my SSL into my focus right to give sound into VC face. Now I need to figure out why the sound is working and after that I got a portal into NDI Then I gotta add that into NDI feed into... Yeah, I completely forgot that you guys I was recording so welcome back to quote unquote stage K slash Necrolive duo PC streaming setup where we now need a direct box Because this bitch counts this as two inputs and VC face does only use input one so we gotta do some fancy shit. This patch cable. Uh, da, 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 da. The, the things, the things you do for streaming. That's all I am saying. So you get plugged into you. You get plugged into my direct box. No DB. You no ground lift. Then you. Because we can. Uh, Support to image capture virtual camera. I facial mocap. Stub. Stub. So I can use VTube Studio and have that imported. Okay. I facial mocap is probably what I'm gonna use because then that's what I'm gonna use for the tracking. So then I don't have to worry about an external web camera. But I can still have a separate uh, thing to do like all of my other shit. But uh, yeah, why are you like lip sync audio overdrive game? Is that better maybe? Then we do that, then we do that, then we open NDI tools. Then we see what we can do here. Uh. Okay, so we need to do fancy shit. Okay, 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 where the fuck? You, you guys are cooking piece of slunks, but oh well, I think I figured this out. So basically we need to do a spout too. In order to you know, get all of this to work. Let me just continue watching that. Okay, never mind. So basically we keep this all the same, whatever. I open OBS and I just create a new empty whatever scene. Add this as a game capture with transparency. Then I throw you know it into whatever. So uh, skip this for now. Although I do need to install the NDI plugin. Hobby, hobby.
we've got now words configured. Nikolai TRV, VC Face TRV Wong. Let's go. So now I have that on a separate computer. I see my blink tracking is still uh, still needs a little adjustment. Then we have got them NDI and we have VC face running on a separate computer. So now half my GPU should not be taken up by VC face. So good, good shite. Now, now we just need to put all this shit into perspective and see how well it's going to work. I see my audio track is still kind of off, but oh well. All I need to adjust the... Uh... Okay, so we are back after that whatever hectic, whatever entry that was. Anywho, we are back with just a little new video here where we were trying out some NDI stuff, so... I have my laptop over here, which has VC face open in the background, you know, right here. Then I have my VC face being sent as an NDI output out to, you know, my NDI shares or whatever. Then I have a uh, NDI webcam feed here, which is receiving audio only. Which is being outputted from not properties, you idiot filters. Which is getting outputted as a dedicated mic MDI output, an audio only MDI output, as mic out OBS and underscore ink one. And then you can see my model moving around. That is then coming in under base. And then under VC face NDI capture under Nikolai Wink TRV 3. Keep source last, blah, 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 blah. And the reason why it looks like this is because alpha colors. So you can see. There is the effect filter uh, that fixes my NDI uh, alpha channels. So yes, that's the plan. So if you see an upcoming video, unless I make that a gaming stream or a, you know, face cam or actual cam stream, whatever, that I just upload the VOD for or whatever, you guys will be seeing a pair of uh, dual U, or if I can manage it, single U servers getting built. One for doing my VTuber model, and then just doing a bunch of NDI shit where I need to play around with latencies and stuff and see how I can get the lowest amount of latency but still keep my transparency. Because I tried to turn my NDI capture down to. <clears throat> ultra low latency and low latency uh, earlier today uh, in the NDI signal I was receiving for uh, uh, for uh, for my VTuber ball and it went from being transparent to being black so I have to play around with, a bit with that uh, so my idea is if I can get water cooled my 3090, maybe get a secondary like one U or one slot card, like a quadro or something in there to do my OBS encoding. 
So that by my 3090 it can be purely for games and stuff. Should limit any ball. Like the only thing is, is that I, I could for now slap in another card in there already. The only problem is, is that when I get my 10 gig neck in there, which the faster I get it, the better. I'm not gonna have any 16 x slots left uh, unless I go to the slot that's behind the cooler of my 3090. Uh, so that getting all that water cool is definitely gonna be an idea. And then probably swap out my like Aver Media Dual, whatever the fuck. Aver Media like single HD60, whatever capture card with a quad capture card. Uh, from like Black Magic or whatever. Be ideal since I don't need more than 60 Hertz over that card, anyways. 4K60 is plenty. And I mean, that's only 1080, but yeah, that's like the max max I'd need. Uh, because then I have four inputs. One input is gonna be for when I'm doing Euro Truck or American Truck, where I have my GoPro rigged up, or well, eventually when I get a DSLR or something, that would be that camera then. Uh, and then one or two of them is gonna be some feed from my uh, uh, lights and sound, uh, you know, setup or not. If I do some streams or videos or not. And then one will just always be available for whatever if I connect up a switch or whatever. Uh, the only problem with connecting up a switch is that for that purpose, I kind of need my second Avid Media card. As I'm gonna end up with so two capture cards in there body, anyways, you plus... So, you're staying on top of a so bag I'm... of frozen bread rolls, because what you guys are say? literally uh, cooking. Mm. When I say cooking, I really mean it. So fucking... basically, if you can see... So there's my current Aver Media card, so basically... Fucking hotter than a CPU. move up a notch. If I get a second a capture card, then we have... But this I am installing it and I'll be back with you guys uh, when I'm done installing it. Full uh, slot the there. OBS capture. Uh, which would have to be used for my, my tangy nick. And then I believe... So... Right over those PCI slots yeah. that there is another slot. But I may so only him. have... Three PCIe, uh, 16 x slots on here, CC which means Shisa. Which means no, I can only have one capture card in here, yes, which means uh, I won't be able to use my Aver Media here. So if anything, then I'll have to slap this Aver Media in one of the uh, yeah, one of the, the older of rack and the AI machines or rack uh, streaming mach uh, streaming computers. And then I'll put this over NDI Close. and get that into my main. So yeah, other than that, if ah, you have system, forgotten about my system, it's an ah, Asus Prime, see, it's not a TRX 40 board, board uh, Threadripper, huh? uh, 3960X yeah. with the underkill cooler, I know. I'm gonna be putting like an EK vector block on here. Yes, I know the entire, you know, conversation, whatever about. EK and money and manufacturers or whatever, I see I need to clean this computer out soon again too. Probably swap some thermal paste or whatever, so I should probably order that later today. Uh, it's currently 64 gigs of Corsair benches, uh, RGB, whatever, whatever, fancy. See, 3200 MHz, 64, I'm planning to slap another kit in here so that way we have 128. It's 39D white edition because I was gonna put a water block on there eventually. I'm not gonna bother with an active backplate, but I will be custom putting a custom engraved backplate on there. So that way this becomes like basically this tin-ish, takes up basically just one slot. Since now it's taking up basically three. Then you get a quad capture card, my 10 gig nick, and then whatever other GPU, probably just like a one slot quadro or whatever. Oh! That can do HVAC or H.265 uh, for doing my OBS encoding. So, yeah. So, with that, I think I'm really gonna call this a video. Wanted to just make a quick little hippie hop video of trying out some NDI stuff and whatever. 
I'll maybe play around a bit off camera with maybe getting it to work on my... Uh... So now MDI stuff should be here. At least the dependencies. Ah, oh, so I can do flop. Oh. Okay, well, but then I do flap pack instead. That's very easy here. Very easy to do with a flat pack. Now the question is just if VC face works on the next. If not, I need to run that in like vinyl or whatever. Because if I can run that up in there instead of running it on my lap, oh, that would be great. Oh well, it is a work in progress though, so it may be kind of broken, but... Let's open another army. Let's open another terminal, shall we? Be the stro baby. Yes. So E make sure dash S sure off to source. It's the same folder. B Oh, did you run out of power? Mm. I was so hung up that I didn't even...
Okay. We are back and I think I maybe fixed it. Even though I ain't seeing no NDI, whatever, whatever. So I'm gonna try and give her another restart. But basically, I ran the libget sh install command. So. We'll see. What she does. I'm still expecting the fucking, the, the, the fucking uh, VC phase to fucking lag to fucking back. Although it is unreal, so I don't know how well it's gonna work. But do we now have NDI capture in there or do I need to reinstall the plugin? Do not show this dialog on startup. It starts up, I'm not seeing anything. Oh no, for the tactic, we don't care about no keyboard attack did. Or I care about. Everything, lol. Huh. Yeah. Where, 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 47, you gotta be joking. Yeah, I need a new A50. 52 should do for a while. Choice. I mean, really. Phew. Multiview full screen. Zero zero center minus will be that one, yes. Oh god, no, that, that's that multiview, oh boy. Ah, multi, you say. Yeah, I forgot that was the multiview. That uh, handy for doing actual production shit, but... Uh, it's not that great if we're doing more fancy shit. Mm. Well, I mean, I can make... Uh... This one bigger since it's the one we're working on now, but I gotta have it small enough so I can also see what I'm doing. You have reboot required that needs to be taken into effect. And then we do this one once we have actually done that reboot.
Astiox is able in the boils. You say so, but supposedly it is enabled. Ah, uh, so I don't know what you're all about, but oh well. Then we can go on to this whole action center deal. I'll do all of this again. Oh wow. Well, it seems like it did install... Ah, oh, fuck. Got it again, for fun. To do system CTL enable AVA high dash da a mon then start what then to do UFV allow fifty nine. Then we go fucking to do CH mod to do CH mod dash R seven 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 OBS and the IU. Then we go to do DPKG dash I OBS and the IU. There we go. Well, mine is gonna be a Susie, ain't it? To do ln dash s dash user dash local dash lib dash lib ndi dot so dot seek. X slash user slash local slash lib slash lib lib by dot so by okay so apparently Everything here is correct now. I'm gonna run an update. I'm gonna take and restart the computer. And supposedly everything should now just work. Well, both RAM sticks light up now. Yeah, but it in safe mode, I thought so. It was because for some reason one of my memory channels decided to just like... Nah. Or at least note, and that it can't find the... Uh, NDI capture. But we do have a way around that, we do, we figure out, somehow. Open in terminal. And then we run. Dot slash, or sudo dot slash, libndi-get.sh install.
There we go. Then we give her a reboot again. Oh my god. I don't give a fuck. I am... I am Darut. Yeah, I gotta figure out what happened to the overall figure out what happened. I need a new motherboard for that machine. Because it's running on a cooked ass motherboard. The CPU is fine. It's doing fine. Just a casual... i5-9400. Not the fastest thing in the world. Not the slowest thing in the world. A uh, middle ground for this boy. Which supposedly is a media PC slash sleeper PC. It doesn't really need the most powerful shit in the world. Oh, OBS Studio. It's not complaining about the NDI. Ah, so now NDI is just magically working here. So I think what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna take and uh, copy this. And maybe copy over here, no. Uh, I try and change my display settings. Well, that's a good start. Red Hat already saying it's having, you know, it's many issues. But hey, we got NDI. Holy shit. Okay. Okay, then we can take and, you know, minimize this whatever heck up in here. Since right now we are not caring about that. But hallelujah, we have fucking... Yeah, we have uh, fucking shit on Linux Mint. Holy shit. So then if I do the exact same shit on the VM, supposedly that should make it work. Right? Or Vigian, I said. Uh, did that become Norwegian now? Fishing of the day. No, it did not. Norwegian. Norwegian, continue. Then we go. Install your multimedia codex. Okay guys, we are back and uh, I'm here to end of this video that I literally just edited. So, you guys saw me play around in, you know, fucking Linux or whatever, trying to do FDI in there to see if I could do some lightweight, you know, OS trying to do this on virtual neck on my Proxmox server. Well, I managed to get it all to work on that shite, my supposed cheaper PC, which now has no GPU. Because that GPU is down in here, handling my digital OBS encoding now. So that way the 3090 can be purely for games while I'm streaming and recording. So that's the thing. And you, I tried and I tried and I just couldn't figure out of why it worked just fine on the desktop. I just couldn't get it to work in a virtual machine. So I don't really know. Anywho, point is we do now have FDI Irony and we do have my old my laptop to my VTuber mall. We we come on. Come on. Oh my god. Well, bro, we have talked about this. We, 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 we. So now I have a ball of my computer working. We got MDI coming in here. We got MDI. Oh my god. Yeah. So, got 13 in. And then we got the MDI audio only feed coming out from a big computer. Oh, do that computer! Oh, look at the webcam only, audio only feed or whatever. 
So good shit. So we done. I say thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, love it, we get to appreciate it. Ah, so very sure links down below for socials and all that. Note, I will be making a more proper tutorial on how to set this up over on my gaming channel. Uh, since this is mainly for like VTubers and whatnot, how I am using MDI. So yeah, but all the rats, stay tuned, stay awesome, and I could have the heck out of here.